Uh, can you see my screen? Unmute your mic, everyone. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. So the first class rule is that we have to be on time. Okay? Don't be late for the class. All right? And the second one is that act like you are at school. Okay? So you have to sit nicely and properly and listen to me attentively. Okay? So this will be fun. All right. Sit, sit in a sit in a spot during class. Okay, sit in a nice spot, so you can listen me carefully and hear me nicely. Okay, and keep yourself updated. Don't make noise in the class, and turn on your video. Not compulsory, but if you wanna turn on your video, you can turn on your video. Right. And raise your hand to talk. Don't make noise or fuss in the class. Raise your hand. Listen carefully to the teacher. The most important rule is that listening carefully, okay? So if you will not listen to me carefully, then how will you understand, yeah? All right, okay. All right, no eating and during, uh, not eating or drinking during class. So. We are fasting nowadays, so the, um, you can skip this one. Yeah. And uh, have fun and do your best. Okay? So you you uh, you have fun doing this class and you should do your best. Okay? So now let's start the class. Now let me share the slides. So... Today, we're going to learn the name of Allah, our Rahman, the most merciful. Okay? So, everyone say with me, our Rahman. Say, come on, come on, unmute your mic. Our Rahman. Yes, good job. Rahman. Good, Nabila. Okay. Rahman. Okay. The most merciful. The name of Allah means a Rahman, the most merciful. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. Okay? So now let's learn uh, that where this uh, where, the, where this name is used in the Quran. So we all know this dua Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In the name of Allah. Most merciful, the entirely merciful, right? So we're number I number 30. Okay. So let's move on. So this name have an objective to learn. Okay. So number one is that to remember that Allah is the most merciful and each blessing we receive is only by his mercy. He's very kind and loving. Yeah. So, to remember that Allah is the most merciful, we can we can see uh, our blessings. Like, we have our family. Allah has given us... Um, Teacher. Yeah. And Allah has given us shelter. Good job, Nabila. I want to clean my nose. What are you saying, Nabila? I want to clean my nose. Okay, you can go. All right. So, yeah. So, so we can count our blessings that we have a shelter to live and we have nice family. Our parents are there. So, these all blessings are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, he's merciful that he has given us these kind of blessings, okay? And he's and loving and he loves his uh, people like he love us he love you he love all of us okay and he's very kind to us he's very kind now nah? so that's why he has uh, given us so many blessings yeah all right so the second objective is that to learn to show mercy and kindness to people on earth and allah will show mercy to you okay 
people when you will show kindness to people on earth and other okay so allah will be merciful to you allah will be happy with you and then allah will give you more blessings okay all right Okay, to memorize the dua after Vadu. All right, there. We'll memorize a short dua after Vadu, okay? All right. And to memorize the meaning of Ar Rahman and the above ayah. Okay, so who will read this ayah for me and with, along with the meaning? Raise your hand. Okay, come on. Who want to read it? Um. Okay, Sayyida Safira, wanna read it. Okay, Sayyida Safira, you can read it. Go on. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Come on, read it. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the entirely merciful. Good job, Saida Safira. Yeah. So we read this dua after uh, every surah and we read it. Okay. So now let's move on. Now I'm going to tell you a story. Now it's story time. So I'm going to tell you a story related to the, um, the word Ar-Rahman, the name of Allah, the most merciful. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna listen to it, okay? Now you ha all have to keep your mics muted, okay? And it, okay, all right. Okay, a Rahman, the most merciful, the more and the entirely merciful. Do you know the meaning of the word mercy? It means to be very loving, caring, and kind. Do you know who is the most merciful? Maybe you do. Like we all know that Ar Rahman means the most merciful. So it's saying maybe you do, but seven years old Tariq didn't know. Let's read the story of Tariq and his Baba. All right. Now it's giving. Uh, there is a boy, seven years old boy, boy that Tariq, and he don't know what. It's the meaning of Ar Rahman, the most merciful, okay? All right, now let's go. Tariq was a curious little boy. He would always ask questions on many topics to his parents. So, Tariq was a curious little boy. He would always ask many questions on many topics to his parents. As he loved his Baba, he would ask many questions to him because he felt Baba knew all the answers. It was a Saturday and that meant it was a weekend holiday. Fajr Adan had just finished and Baba and Mama woke up to pray Fajr. As usual, they woke up Tariq. Tariq felt lazy but his Mama gave him a kiss on the forehead and, and a warm hug which made Tariq really happy. Hence, he woke up and did Fadu with Baba. After completing the Vadu, Baba asked Tariq to recite the Dua after finishing Vadu. Okay, Tariq. So he said uh, to his Baba, I forget how the Dua begins. Baba, no problem, son. It begins with Ashadu. Tariq, oh yes, I remember, Baba. Thank 
thanks for telling me. Okay. All right. So this is the dua that we have to memorize. Uh, Ashhadu an la ilaha illa illahu wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah, alone without a partner. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his slave and messenger. So, Baba, excellent Tariq. Now, let's go to the masjid and pray Fajr. Then I have to go to the office also. So, both of them left and after prayer, Baba dropped Tariq home and left for office. <clears throat> Tariq went for Islamic classes in the morning and after coming back, he played with his toy. By evening time, Baba came back from work and after dinner, both of them sat down to watch a show on Animal Planet on Cats. So, Tariq uh, Tariq said to his Baba, I love cats. They're so cute. Mashallah. Baba, indeed they are. This show, this show will tell us how the cats take care of their kittens after they're born. Okay? Let's move on. Alright. His mercy is much greater than his Anger, okay? Tariq, oh look, Baba, the cat is holding the neck of her kitten in her mouth. Why she's doing that? Baba, she's taking her kitten to a safe place, away from any danger, Tariq. Tariq, why did it hurt the kitten? Baba, actually it will not. The cat is holding her kitten with mercy. She will not hurt her kitten because she loves it so much. Tariq, what is mercy, Baba? Baba, mercy is when someone is kind, caring, loving and compassionate. In fact, do you know who is the most merciful? Tariq thought for a while. Then answered, Tariq, you and Papa, both of you are so loving and caring towards me. Okay? Hope you understand. Now let's move on. Tariq, at first time, Mama even hugged me with love and you helped me remember the dua in a cute manner. Baba, you are right. Why do we? <clears throat> we do love you a lot. But the most merciful is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the one of Allah's names is Ar Rahman, the most merciful. Each blessing we receive in in this world is taught the mercy of Allah. He loves us and cares for us much more than Mama and I can. His mercy is so great that even if people are disobeying him, he will still give them food, water, clothes, a house to live in, etc. So, here you can see how merciful is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes? All right. Wait a minute. Give me a while. Okay. All right. Tariq, if Allah is the most merciful, then does he get angry too, Baba? Sometimes Mama and you get angry when I misbehave and this makes me feel sad. Baba, if we disobey him repeatedly, then he, he may become angry, my dear son. We need to remember that Allah said that his mercy is much greater than his anger. So if we continue doing our best to obey him, then he will inshallah reward us. He has he has reversed a large amount of mercy for here for the hereafter. Okay, Tariq said to his Baba, Subhanallah Baba, I also want
want our Rahman to be loving, caring, and merciful towards me. What should I do then, Papa? So here his father is going to tell him a hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. Our Rahman has mercy on those who are merciful. If you show mercy to those who are on the earth, he who is in the heaven will show mercy to you. We should obey Allah and do our best to follow the example of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam. And we should pray fast, talk kindly, to others, respect and obey our parents and teachers so that Allah will be pleased with us. Tariq, oh Baba, I want, I want the mercy of Allah. Inshallah, I will do my best to please him. Okay. Baba, Inshallah, do your best, my dear son. Sometimes we forget and make mistakes. We immediately need to ask Allah to forgive us. A Rahman out of his love and mercy will forgive us, inshallah. That is great, Baba. See, that kitten is looking so cute. Both of us then went back to watching the show. Every time Tariq, Tariq saw the cat with her kittens, he would remember the mercy of a Rahman. So that's the end of our story. Okay. So this is again that dua. Bismillah rahman rahim In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Okay. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Did you enjoy? Let me unmute you all of you. Okay. Unmute your mics and tell me, did you enjoy the story? Yes. Yes. And did you understand that Allah is the most merciful? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now we'll do an activity. Because it's Ramadan. Okay. So are you ready? All of you are ready for this activity? Yes. Yay. Everyone should uh, reply. Okay. Aisha uh, Unmute your mic and I don't know what's that name. Yeah, unmute your mic. And okay. Okay, okay, let's start doing the activity now. So everyone is going to tell me a gratitude and we'll write it, okay? Okay, so raise okay. your hand. Raise your hands, everyone. Raise your hands. Okay, Aisha Kureshi, and uh, what about you, Nabila? Raise your hand. Okay, all right. Okay. Now, also, let's write gratitude over here. So, you all have to tell me that um, what are you thankful for uh, to Allah for today, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to write our gratitude over here. Okay. Wait a minute. Just give me All right. Just. Okay. All right, so first of all, Aisha Qureshi, tell me what are you thankful to Allah today? I'm thankful for the fast that he allowed me to keep today. Oh, and I like good. to keep the fast. Okay, now let's write here. Aisha and then... Allah has
Okay, now let let me ask another. Okay, so Nabila, you have to tell me what are you thankful to Allah. Yes, Nabila. I'm first. Yes. First. Okay. The same one as right. Okay. Nabila is saying. Damn it. All right. Okay. Now. All right. So Ikra Tashi. Mm -hmm. All right. What are you thankful for? I think she's not there. Okay, let's ask uh, this. What is this? Slash, slash. I, let me unmute her. Mm, okay, no, she's not there. So, Ikra Shokat. Okay, Ikra, what are you thankful for today? Allahi wa barakatuh. Yes, I'm thankful for an answered dua. Allah. Has oh, answered oh. my duas that and plus the fasting part of Ramadan, alhamdulillah. And today's session okay. is very amazing, alhamdulillah. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Okay, let me write over here. Uh, okay. Uh, so she's thankful for an answer dua. Uh, and the fast. All right. Now I'm going to write that. What am I thankful for? Okay. So I am thankful for having Ramadan. So. Okay, so this is the gratitude. So Aisha and Aisha is thankful for Allah that Allah has allowed me to fast, and Nabila likes the fast, and uh, Ikra ans uh, Ikra is thankful for an answered dua and the fast, and I am um I am thankful for having Ramadan. Okay. So now we're going to do another activity. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're over here, we're going to write why we like Ramadan. Okay. Now I'll, I'll call your names. Okay. First of all, Nabila. Nabila, are you there? Unmute your mic. Okay, she's not there. Okay, Aisha. Yes. Uh, uh, why you like Ramadan? It helped me to connect with Allah. Okay. I feel connected. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Need to connect with Allah. Oh, sorry. Physical technique. Okay. So now, Nabila. Are you there, Nabila? No, she's not. Okay, so Ikra, Ikra Kashi. Oh, there's one more student to join us. Okay, that's okay. Ikra Kashi, why you like Ramadan? Quran Majid and more duas. Okay. Uh... For reading Quran 
an and making a lot of duas. Yeah. All right. Okay, now. Um. So there is two babitas. Wait a minute. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, Tuba. How are you, Tuba? Are you there? Wa alaikum assalam. Okay. So we were um, reading a story related to Ar Rahman. At the end of the class, I'll tell you the summary upon it. Now we're doing an activity. So, Tuba, would you like to tell me what are you grateful for? Uh, yeah. Yes, but I'm grateful for to Allah. I I am a Muslim. What what did you say? I am a Muslim. Can't hear you clearly. Okay. Let me write that we'll write it later on. Okay, now Aisha Kresh is done and Ikra Kashif is done. Nabila, are you back? Nabila. No, she's not. So okay. Ikra Shokat. Are you there? Okay. So they're not there. So do uh, why do you like Ramadan? Would you give me a reason? Yes, Tuba. Can I hear you, Tuba? Yes. We get many rewards. Okay, you like Ramadan because we get many rewards. And what are you thankful for? That that time I can I was not able to hear you clearly. I am grateful to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that I am I am a Muslim. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that is the best thing. Okay, so so Aisha said that Allah has allowed me to fast and Nabila like the fast and Ikra Ikra answered dua and the fast and um I I am I am thankful for having Ramadan and Tuba said that I'm thankful for being a Muslim and uh, I shall um like Ramadan because it Ramadan help her to connect with Allah and uh, Ikra Kashif like Ramadan for reading Quran and making a lot of duas and uh, Tuba like Ramadan for getting so many rewards. Okay, so uh, do you have any questions? Will will it the story? Yes, Nabila. In Ramadan, you read your Quran and you fast. Oh, uh, what are you saying? I just asking you that uh, why you like Ramadan and you are not answering me. You read your Quran in Ramadan and you fast. Okay, so you like Ramadan because. You read Quran and fast. Okay. For reading Quran. Okay, sorry. For reading Quran and making and fasting. So this is that. Uh, this is the activity. So now, just give me a minute. Uh, all right. So now let me tell you some things about 
uh, okay about the mo uh, rahman the most merciful just give me a minute is it okay so now let's do another activity so you're gonna tell me the things that which allah has uh, blessed you with okay and do uh, you like them because he, and because he's the most merciful so he has, he has given you blessings and some of them that you like really much, okay? So, let me write. Yes. So, Allah is the most merciful. Uh, okay. So, first of all, Nabila, tell me, uh, Allah, Allah is the most merciful. So, what blessing Allah has given to you? Huh? Yes. Shisha, I don't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. So I'm saying that Allah is the most merciful. So what blessings Allah has given you with that you like really I much? I like to pray. The prayers? Okay, that's the blessing. Okay. So you like the prayers. So now, okay, now next one. All right, Nabila like the prayers. Okay, now Aisha. Aisha, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I'm there. Okay. Yeah. So what, uh, what do you like? What blessings Allah has given to you when you like them? My health. Okay, your health. Okay. Okay. Okay, now, uh, Tuba. Yes, Tuba. <laughs> what that is the last given you with? And you like them very much, Tuba. Tell me. Water. Water. Okay. Yeah, that's a great blessing. All right. Now, Nabila has done. Aisha has done. And uh, Tuba has done. Now, let us let me ask you a crush. Okay. Yes. What eyes. Blessing? Eyes, okay. Mm. All right, eyes. Yeah, that's a great blessing. Okay, now, what's that? Slash, slash. Unmute your mic. No, never reply. Okay, now, I can shift if you're left. Prakashif, are you there? I don't know. I think she's not. All right. So let's memorize now. Get your mic, Ramila. Kids. Okay. Yeah, kids. Okay. All right. Okay, now let's memorize the dua that we read after uh, making wadu. Okay. It. So everyone will read. Uh, okay, one one will read. Okay, the dua, and then we'll do something else. All right, where that dua go? Mm, yeah, there it is. Okay, so who want to read the dua? And raise your hand. Raise your hand. All right. No one? All right. So, Ashhadu anna la ilaha illahu wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadun abduhu wa rasuluhu. So, this dua is we will have to read and after we make batu. Okay. 
So that's the end of uh, our today's class. Okay. Okay. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika wa shahduna la ilaha ilat. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good to see you in the next class. Wa alaikum as-salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as-salam. Wa alaikum as-salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair for today's session. Wa iyaki. Wa alaikum as-salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair for joining.